No ice. No water. Okay. okay. Light comes on there. No water. Okay, no light comes on in there. And the light doesn't even come in, in there. It's my busted sensor though. Okay, close it back up, open it, there, all right, so, got a faulty sensor here, I've reordered a new one, I'm going to try just to unplug it for now, and see if that'll work. Okay, I always cut the power, I'm just going to hit the breaker. Okay, power's off, uh, no lights on. Okay, next I'm gonna remove one, two, three, four, five. Just use a quarter inch socket. up and off. Okay, gotcha. Okay, same with this one. Just kind of lift this up. Pops off there, pops off there. Okay, okay so what I want to do right now, I'm just going to take this out and leave it unplugged and see what happens. There it is. And. And. Oh. Voila. Okay. That's it. Got it. Uh, okay, so now I'm just, I've got it unplugged. I took a picture and a video of which one goes into which connection. Uh, and if you look really carefully on here, these are marked. Uh, one says COM, one says NC, and one says NO. Pretty good. There you go. COM, NC, and NO. And I've only got two connections to COM and NC. Okay, um, so what I'll probably do is I'm, I'm gonna just turn the power back on and see what happens when I open up the door with no sensor installed. Okay, no sensor installed, power's back on. No light there. A light. I don't see a light on down in the down in the freezer portion though. Does some water work? No. Did not. Okay, so I got uh, the replacement part here for the refrigerator. Ordered it through GE.com. Interestingly, uh, it shows coming from Hayer Appliance Parts, LLC. Uh, but this is, I guess, the official uh, source that <laughs> GE is using. And I got a two-pack. And the two-pack cost about the same as a one-pack. a one pack. So I figured, you know, what the heck, just get a two for and maybe go ahead and replace, um, you know, replace both of these. Okay, so I'm going to take a look here. Is the there's the old one that I'm going to replace.
place. Here is the new one. So you can see the difference here is the old one's got two connectors and the new one's got all three. Um, so let's just try to plug this in the blue and the red. So we're going to unplug these and just pop off. There's one. There's two. Here's the new one. The blue pops on there. And the red snaps on here. Don't need this connector at all. As you can see, it's just kind of an empty spot in this uh, old one. Okay, so as I pulled out the other side, guess what? This one does have three connectors. So we've got the blue, the red, and then we have another third one on that. Interesting. Okay, so we get to plug in all three this time. No problem. Let me grab it. So we got the blue. Pull that off. And I did cut the power this time. I did get shocked um, last time I did this. Right. It's being hard. So let me instead do the that one first. And then pull off the red here. These are on there tight. My goodness, that sucker is on there. So is that. Give this thing an extra tug. What's up with that, man? Good lord. I'm going to try this again, so let me try just with a pair of needle nose. Give me a little bit more leverage on it. just can't imagine why. Why it's that hard to pop this off. There we go. Alright, using a screwdriver, I mean, good lord. To pop it on the side. There. What is the deal? Good lord. That was... That was more difficult than it probably needed to be to get those two off. Good. Okay, well, let's see if they'll go on easy at least. Let's put the red on. Pop right on, no problem. <laughs> Good god. There's the blue. Get him back in there if we can. Okay, blue is on, red's on. Okay, all of them are on. Okay, now. All right, let me show you that again because it was off camera, but pretty easy to slide this back in here. You're just gonna punch that down. Down as you slide it in underneath here. Like that. And it just snaps into place. So we're in. We're in on that one. And I'll take you over to this side and see if I can show you this one going in. Same deal. Basically, just want to line it up here and slide it in there. There's little, the little clips on the side uh, hold it in place. Sounds good. Okay, so uh, I've got them both put back in place. Next up, I'm going to put the top back on, get the power back going, and should be in business. Okay, power's back. Okay, power's back on. Let's just see. All right, we got lights on in there. We got lights coming on here. Uh-oh, no light on here. Uh-oh. Should have a light on there. Okay, that one. One's working. 
this side? Uh oh. Not working. Shit. Okay, the ice machine works. Okay, so I just finished um, switching out the light switches on my GE refrigerator. And one of them's working fine, but the other one, the one on the left hand side over here, is not working. So when I open it up, it is dark. Lighter's not coming on. But when it's closed, the ice machine does function. Now when it's open, the ice machine does not function. So that tells me that the switch is actually working, but for some reason, the light is not turning on. Light does turn on on the right-hand side, but not on the left. If you have any ideas, let me know, because uh, I'm all out of ideas. I've, uh, it's a brand new switch. I actually flip-flopped the two switches to make sure it was a problem with the switch or some other type of electrical issue. So I'm now leaning towards some type of electrical fault. But hey, let me know in the comments if you've got any, uh, any ideas on it.